I guess the question here is, what will your reaction to David Cronenberg's latest be with his return to body horror? You know, the subgenre that graphically explores the destruction of the human form. Well, that may depend on whether you've seen anything from him before A History of Violence, or even his acclaimed remake of The Fly. If that's all you've experienced, you may find his newest feature, well, quite disturbing. Crimes of the Future is grotesque, it's a little shocking, and definitely fascinating, and it has an eerily unsettling and complex concept. Starring Viggo Mortensen, Leah Seydoux, Kristen Stewart, Don McKellar, Scott Speedman, and more, Crimes echoes the famed director's earlier work such as Rabbit, The Brood, or Videodrome, and even his perversely stunning adaptation of Naked Lunch. Do you think you could rub some of this powder on my lips? Mm, yeah. Sure. If that's where you fall as a fan, you're more than ready for this one. Viggo Mortensen is Sal Tanser, a performance artist who, along with his partner Caprice, have created an underground art sensation. You see, as humans have evolved, the feelings of pain are missing. At least most of us. Yet Sal feels it. He also has a unique trait where he continues to grow several seemingly unnecessary organs in his body. Yet in this world, they've managed to make the surgery of removing the objects into a live freaking performance. Without people having the ability to feel pain, audiences have discovered an obsession with what is on the inside perhaps even more than what is on the outside. Now when a secretive man named Lang Daughtry shows up, he approaches the couple and he suggests that they add a dark twist to their stage show. <laughs> Honestly, I was debating how much to reveal, but frankly it would be a crime of the future to reveal much more than that. So there you go. Now I've been hoping to see Mr. Cronenberg return to the weird world for a long time, and yes, Crimes of the Future certainly fits that description beautifully. This stunning new vision revels in the fleshy and uncomfortable. Written and directed by the filmmaker, Crimes dives deep into our darkest desires. Quite similar to, you know, films like Crash and Existence or, or even Shivers. I'm honestly hesitant to go into too many details surrounding the film. If you are leaping into a Cronenberg film, it's best to go in with little previous knowledge of what might transpire. And yes, there are moments here that you will have to see to believe. Cronenberg is a master at presenting body horror in all its gruesome glory, including its exploration of sexuality. The stage performances the couple put on are obviously a little bizarre and disturbing, but they're kind of believable. After all, we are in a society happy to seek out the horrific remnants of a car accident on the side of the road to get a glimpse. As well, there is a sensual aspect to the morbid images. And yes, that includes the sequences of surgery themselves. Now, I haven't even written about the unusual medical chairs that are part of the process. Turning an autopsy table into what appears to be a living organism is one hell of a freakish sight, and there's a whole lot more there. The casting here works. Vigo has been a regular working partner with the filmmaker starting back with A History of Violence. It's honestly easy to see why. Mortensen is excellent as a performer with his odd bodily functions, and Leah Sadu is also terrific as his partner. She brings a radiance to the dark imagery that surrounds her. Both give terrific performances, and if you are looking for something quirky, both Kristen Stewart and Don McKellar are impressively odd as two secret government workers who become entranced by Saul and Caprice. And then there's Scott Speedman. The actor gives a really impressive and complex performance, sometimes quite cold, but it works shockingly well in this oddity. Crimes is a challenging film. If you aren't familiar with the director's more twisted tales, you're gonna think this is more than a little effed up. And of course, there are a ton of moments that are likely to disturb those who aren't ready for the twisted and gut-wrenching visuals on display that includes the sexual aspect of it. And if I had one, I guess, minor complaint, it would be that one element involving Speedman's character isn't quite as mysterious as it could have been. I kind of figured a lot of that out pretty early on. 
Yeah, that was a minor issue, and and frankly, Cronenberg's return to this grotesque world is really incredibly satisfying to this viewer. It's a stylish, unsettling tale, one that has stayed with me days after viewing. If you want light entertainment, well, you know what? Don't bother, see something else. However, if you are salivating over the promise of a David Cronenberg return to the psychosexual horrific visions of old, well, this one is for you. And frankly, I'm a fan. Crimes of the Future for me is a 9 out of 10. It's a very impressive film and I hope you guys dig it. This is a true return to form for me for Cronenberg's work and I absolutely loved it. Hope you guys do too. And of course, you can always check out anything you want on JoeBlow.com. News, reviews, interviews, it's all there folks. And thank you for listening. Have a pleasant day. It is time to stop seeing. It is time to stop speaking. It is time to listen. It is time to stop seeing. It is time to stop speaking. It is time to listen. 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 This will be my fourth movie with him. He's one of the world's most uniquely gifted filmmakers, but he hasn't made a movie in eight years, so I just wanted to help him in any way I could to be able to make this one. He seems in great form, really full of energy, which is, again, astonishing given the conditions, given how hot it is here, given how strenuous the project is. It's a big project, it's very ambitious. He keeps calm, he's always supportive, so he's a joy to work with. Yeah, it meant a lot to me because uh, for me he's such an iconic director. He's like a star. I'm also, I was really happy to meet the man. He's so gentle. I, I knew that he had a very specific idea of what he wanted the, the girl to look like, but he, he gave me so much room to sort of like have whatever feelings I wanted to have about it. It's very helpful to not feel like the director is controlling every moment, everything. You can sort of let things fly and he's not gonna slap you down. Um, and that's always, always feels good as an actor. He's always trying to push the boundaries of what cinema can be and what audience expectations, even of a Cronenberg film can be. It's been a very special experience working with David. There's something about it that's like surreal and then also the word that keeps coming into my head is extraordinary. We've wanted to confirm that so that we could fill it with meaning. The world is a much more dangerous place now that pain has all but disappeared. afraid to map the chaos inside. Let us create a map that will guide us into the heart of darkness.